How's it going my fellow captains? So guys, I have some very important news regarding Etihad. So we know that the airline is currently under a lot of stress and if you're to believe some news outlets, then their future looks to be very uncertain. Now last year they made a loss of around 1 billion dollars and many people in the aviation community are expecting that they're going to continue making a loss as the years go by. Now they've cancelled a few international routes and they've also sold a few of their lounges worldwide including London Heathrow's first and business class lounge. Now the latest news that's just come in is that the airline will be cancelling a significant amount of its existing Airbus order consisting of 62 A350 planes, 40 for the 900s and 22 for the 1000s. Now these planes were originally bought to keep up with the race against Emirates and Qatar Airways. Now this is very shocking news but you can clearly tell that the airline is unstable. Management have said quite a few times that they want to reposition themselves and focus on point to point flights instead of the super hub model that they currently adopt. Now although this is shocking news, it's not unexpected because the CEO has hinted at the cancellation all the way back in January. What's even more bizarre is that they ordered the A350-1000 back in 2012, cancelled the order, then they reordered the same plane again. So this issue has been happening for quite a while. Now there's no doubt about it that this is bad news, but I'm wondering how their order with Boeing will pan out because they still have 51 Dreamliners yet to be delivered. At the moment they're asking banks to give them a loan to pay for the planes, but by the looks of it they've been declined quite a few times. They're also dealing with creditors who've accused Etihad of mishandling Air Berlin and also Alitalia. Due to this, the airline has made a loss of $800 million from investing in these airlines. So all in all, with the airline looking to cancel their Airbus order, moving away from the super connector model and major cuts happening, it's not looking good at all. But if there's any positive out of this, then most definitely it will give Kuwait Airways the opportunity to rise within that region. We know that they purchased the A350s and the A330neos, so this could be the opportunity for them to strike. Now captains, most definitely share your thoughts regarding this in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys very soon.